Hey folks, I hope you're doing well today. This is just a quick pop in. I'm at the post office. I mailed off something um, that I sold on eBay. Yay. And this is just a quick pop in to let you know sort of like uh, what recently happened and also to advocate for an emergency fund and this debt free journey. So I'll try to keep it short, but I just wanted to share with you what recently happened and me just being even more grateful for an emergency fund and this debt-free journey. I just wanted to share this with you. So back to Sunday afternoon, I had just come from breaking my parents' yard and I was on my way back to my house because I had a rehearsal at my house. I got home, I lifted the garage and, and lowered the garage to let my guests in. And then I went back out and lifted the garage for, I think, to take some recyclables out or something like that. And heard all this screeching and clanking and something breaking. <laughs> um, I was just like, you got to be kidding me. And I walked up to the garage door from the inside and just looked to try to figure out what in the world happened. Well, the group leader, he came out too. We were both looking to figure out what exactly was wrong and then looked up and it was the spring of the garage door. It had popped or severed or whatever. I don't know what the terminology is, but it was done and it was not working anymore. To make me feel better, and I thought this was really nice, he said that once his garage door messed up somehow and they just left it for months and so i think he was trying to make me feel better that you know gosh this stinks but you know you don't have to fix it right away but you know me i was thinking about the fact that i had an emergency fund and i could take care of it i think he was trying to make me feel better and what made me feel better actually was well his kindness i thought that was really nice that he was trying to make sure i didn't get upset or be worried about it but i had already started thinking about what i needed to do to fix it and i'll be honest with you my first thought was dang like it's the week of thanksgiving i hate going into my emergency fund i know it's crazy that's what it's there for but i hate going into my emergency fund but my next thought was, well, you have an emergency fund and I'll just get it fixed later. Those were my thoughts. I went on to rehearsal, went on to a meeting and getting on the phone with my friend. And that whole time I didn't think about it. It wasn't until that night as I was lying down, I thought to myself, you're going to have to get that garage door fixed. And then I went off to sleep in heavenly peace. Like I didn't even, I didn't worry about it or anything the next morning. I got up, it was one of the first things I thought about. I looked on an app that my neighbors have where we suggest things to each other and let each other know what's going on. And I saw a recommendation. I did some calling and I got someone out who actually could come that day. So this was Monday, today's Tuesday. This was yesterday, he could come out, get it fixed. And there you go. I just wanna say, an emergency fund is so important. And I know I'm probably preaching to the choir here, but by chance you don't have an emergency fund, it gives you so much peace. And I know I talked about this before, I know it, but when real life happens and Murphy moments happen and rainy days come, you're gonna be so happy you put up an emergency fund. You know, when you're first starting out your journey and you haven't paid off a lot of debt, it can be daunting hoping nothing goes wrong. At least that's how I was. I was just like, please, nothing go wrong. When I first started out my debt-free journey, not within the last couple years, but when I first started out, how can I put so much into becoming debt-free whenever I'm like semi-worried that something is gonna go wrong and I'm gonna have to use debt anyway? That's what an emergency fund is for. Where if you didn't set aside an emergency fund and you had an emergency come up, you would go back into debt trying to get through that emergency. With an emergency fund, it just lessens the probability you'll have to go back into debt to handle that emergency. Having an emergency fund 
gives you more options and it gives you peace. It gives you the peace of knowing that you can put as much as possible to debt, uh, investing or whatever else it is you're working on because you have something set aside for an emergency, a car repair, a medical expense, what have you. Now, it's suggested you have a $1,000 emergency fund, some people $500, some people say, hey, I'm going to put up much more than that. And again, I know I'm preaching to the choir. I wanted to provide you with this update about my garage door and the fact that I've had to consider going back into my emergency fund. But wait, you heard me say I had to consider going into my emergency fund. And this is the point in which I am just so grateful for this debt-free journey for a number of reasons, but this specifically. So I had my emergency fund set up of $1,000 and I already knew it was gonna be expensive to fix this garage door. They're just expensive. And I could have held off, but I am on the go a good bit having to manually raise my garage door every time I wanted to go in and out was just not something like I thought was feasible to do, especially being so busy around the holidays. And I just said, it's something I want to get done sooner than later. Uh, so I know I could have waited, but I also knew that it was going to cost a lot of money because it just cost hundreds of dollars to get this fixed. And so I started to think about, should I go into my emergency fund or what and it's just so interesting I talked to you in my November paydays and bills due about getting paid three times this month so for November I got three paychecks I had set aside some money to make a debt payment and that money was almost exactly what I needed to pay for this garage door repair so I didn't actually have to go into my emergency fund to handle this so because I've paid off so much debt along this journey, again, I started out with 19 accounts. I'm down to two accounts to pay off now. I have freed up so much month over month that I didn't even have to go into my emergency fund to handle this. And the money that I had set aside to make a debt payment, I had already in my checking account. I just wanted to make sure everything cleared. I consider what I needed for Thanksgiving and every all the other expenditures. And then I was going to make that debt payment. I actually took that payment and paid for this garage repair. I didn't even have to go into my emergency fund. Just because along the debt-free journey, I paid off so many debts that month over month, I have more money in my budget these rainy days come and these Murphy moments come and it doesn't matter that it's Thanksgiving week or whatever you got going on in your life. Whenever things have to be handled, they have to be handled. And you want to just position yourself to be as prepared to handle them as you can financially. That's what this is about. That's what an emergency fund is about. That's what becoming debt free. And then past this, investing retiring well, like enjoying your life in debt-free journey and out of debt-free journey. And again, I just wanted to pop on here. I'm about to go get some lunch, but I wanted to pop on and just share with you this life update that having an emergency fund, that garage door repair didn't trip me up. Getting so far in this debt-free journey, I didn't even have to go into my emergency fund. Yay. So I'll see you next time. I hope you have a great day. Thank you for watching. Bye.